<clears throat> All right, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakak Wadash, double honor to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and Shalom to all the out there preaching his word in truth and sincerity. This is Brother Shamar coming back with another lesson in the spirit. And um, in this lesson, I want to speak on, you know, um, not making any excuses, you know, as far as doing. <coughs> It's a lot as far as doing the will of Yahweh by Shem Shai, you know, doing the work, you know, because that's the whole duty of man, first and foremost. All right. Like the scriptures say in uh, Ecclesiastes, the 12th chapter. All right. That's the whole duty of men is to serve Yahweh by Shem Shai and do his will. And that's our reasonable service. You know, like it says in Romans 12 and one, you know, all right. Making our body a living sacrifice because. The whole purpose, our whole purpose is to serve Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and do his will. All right. Especially now in the times that we're in. Okay. We're set up to um, prophesy and warn our people of the coming destruction as well as exhorting, you know, brothers out there to continue on in the faith, man. You know. And so with the first scripture I wanted to get is Sirach 5 and 7. It says, make no tarrying to turn to the Lord and put not off from day to day. Yeah, so <clears throat> you're not supposed to be tarrying, you know, messing around or making excuses or, you know, not do handling your business. All right. Putting it off from day to day, you know, saying like, oh, I'm going to do it later. And then later comes and then you're like, all right, I'll just do it tomorrow. Tomorrow comes you like the next day. Then, you know, you know how it, things can go when you put it off. Then. You're going to continue to put it off, basically. All right. If you don't just go ahead and t handle it or tackle it right then and there. All right. And continue to be in a spirit of like procrastination, you know, pretty much. You're going to continue to just push it off further and further until you're basically not doing anything. All right. But that's that's the wrong spirit to be in. Like the scripture is saying right here, that's the spirit you're not supposed to be in. All right. So it says, make no tarrying to turn to the Lord and put not off from day to day. You know, so don't put that off, man. That's that should be top priority on your list. You know, serve doing serving Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. What did I do for Yah? <clears throat> what did I do for Yahweh Hashem Yahushai today? You know, that should be like top priority on your list. First thing, first you know, business to be handled, so to speak. All right. Continuing on, it says, For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth, and in thy security thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance. Yeah, suddenly, you know, when you least expect it. And it says, gonna come in thy, thy security. So when you are complacent and comfortable, you know, the Lord gonna jack you up basically because why? You're not doing what you were supposed to be doing. All right. The Lord doesn't just do things for no reason. All right, there's a reason behind everything that's done. All right, so when you get judged by the Heavenly Father, obviously, you know, you're not doing something right. Or, you know, like the scriptures speak about, if you are doing everything that you are supposed to be doing in the Spirit, that could just be just chastisement from the Heavenly Father anyway, man. Look, you know, that example of that would be Job. He didn't do anything wrong, yet the Lord, you know, was trying him, trying his faith, trying his integrity. All right. But in the aspect I'm speaking on is when you getting judged for not doing what you're supposed to be doing, you know, that that type of judgment, you don't want that. All right. The Lord judging you for you literally not doing what you're supposed to do, because that's a, a harsh judgment. You think what Joe went through is bad. Imagine what the Lord can do to you when you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing, man. All right. And the Lord going to get you when you least expect it. Suddenly it says in, in your security. So when you are comfortable and complacent, or the Lord can just wait until uh, in the day of vengeance, the day of Jacob's trouble. And that's all bad, you know. Here it is, you uh, you know, famines going on, uh, pestilence, World War Three, martial law, all this stuff. That's you, the only thing you can depend on is your Bashim Yahweh Shai, because you can't deliver yourself. And, he, and the Lord is going to make you perish in that time. Why? Because you was tearing and not... Handling your business, man. All right. Like the scriptures speak about in Ezra's, 
you know, if you want to be delivered from these things and be protected, receive salvation, all right, keep that hedge of protection around you, and the Lord continue to sup with you, man, you have to continue to serve the Lord. You know, you want him to be there for you. You got to be there for him day in and day out, doing what you need to do. Okay. And uh, um, next scripture I want to get is in Romans. <clears throat> Romans. Um, oh, wait, matter of fact. Uh, like the next one I wanted to get is in. Um, it's in Ecclesiastes. a lot I'm trying to find it real quick yeah okay I had it right it was a uh, Ecclesiastes 9 and 12 or 9 and 10 it's like Ecclesiastes 9 and 10, it says, Whatsoever thy hand findeth to do, do it with all thy might, for there is no work, nor device, nor knowledge, nor wisdom in the grave whither thou goest. <clears throat> and what's the main thing that your hand's finding to do, man? All right. That uh, that could be um, pretty, pretty much what it talks about in Luke 9 and 62, you know, where it, sa it says, um, No man... Have it, and Yahweh Shai said unto him, No man having put his hand to the plow and looking back is fit for the kingdom of Yahweh Shai. So that's the thing that your hand is finding to do, man. What's that? Um, what is that? The, the work and the, doing the works of Yahweh Shai, man. All right. Putting your hand to that plow. All right. Because that's the only work that matters. All right. And like the scriptures say right here in Ecclesiastes 9 and 10, you know, it says there is no work, nor device, nor knowledge, nor wisdom in the grave whither thou goest. All right. So you're you're here, you know, alive, you're able body, you know, able to do these things. Like it says in Romans 12 and 1, like I mentioned already, this is your reasonable service. So this is what you're supposed to be doing, man. You know, this is part of making yourself a living, a living sacrifice. All right. Doing serving Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai with all your might, man. All right, doing the work, putting your hand to the plow. All right, and not looking back, not getting distracted. You know, not not um, like the other scripture I went into, not making it tearing or putting it off from day to day. All right, you you're uh, you know totally locked in. All right looking you you're looking in front of you all right you ain't looking back to worrying about the things of the world basically or any anything that you're dealing with day in and day out the main thing that matter first is doing the will of Yah by shim yah shai man all right the works and the faith all right and then um the other last scripture i wanted to get that i was just on second ago is back in Romans and that's
Romans 12 and 11. Well, I'll start at verse 9. It says, Let love be without dissimulation. Abhor that which is evil. Cleave to that which is good. Be kindly affectionate one to another with brotherly love. In honor, preferring one another. Not slothful in business. Fervent in spirit, serving the Lord. And that's the spirit that we should be in now more than ever, you know. Like the scriptures say, redeeming the times because the times are evil. All right. So how should you be carrying yourself, you know. Not not being slothful in business, first and foremost, all right, and being fervent in the spirit, man, on fire, you know, like the scriptures speak about in, in Revelation, not being lukewarm, either being hot or cold, and you should be wanting to be on fire for this truth, because that's the only way that you're going to receive, you know, salvation, and the Lord is going to continue to sub with you, as you being fervent in the spirit, man, being staying busy, you know, Staying busy. All right. Being in the spirit, staying busy, handling your business, doing what you need to do, serving your high bashim, y'all shy, man. All right. Because if you don't do that, you already know what's going to happen. Like it said in um, the scripture I started off with in Sarat. <clears throat> All right. Because the Lord is going to basically judge you if you don't do what you need to do. And it's going to be when you're, when you least expect it, when you're comfortable. All right. And it's not going to be a, a light thing when you get receive that type of judgment. It's going to be a harsh judgment. OK. And it says, uh, continuing on, rejoicing in hope, patient in tribulation and continuing in instant prayer, prayer. And that's what you should be always doing, you know, as much as possible, you know, pray without ceasing. Praying for that spirit to be upon you. Praying for that fervent spirit to stay on you, you know. Hey, so, you know, with that, I'm going to wrap up right there. And I'm going to give all praises again to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rakakwadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And Shalom, I'm taught to argue out there, preaching his word in truth and sincerity. Shalom.